Episode 157 of the Love and Lebanon podcast is on location at Paint Party Plus Elements 5 Arts and Wellness. Allison Phillips is our guest. After 25 years in public education, she's taking a cue from her mom, proving it's never too late to follow your dream. Paint Party Plus opened up on Lebanon's north side with so many fun offerings for people of all ages. Find out about weekly classes and open paint opportunities. Episode 157 of the Love and Lebanon podcast starts now. Welcome to the Love and Lebanon podcast, highlighting all the great things happening in Lebanon, Indiana. Have an idea for an episode? Send an email to loveandlebanon at lebanon.in.gov. Hey, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Love and Lebanon podcast. We are on location for this episode. I'm Joe LePage, and I am the Community Development Director. We are on the north side of Lebanon. Specifically, we are at 2462 North Lebanon Street, kind of near El Maison and kind of by B-dubs and, you know, there are places nearby the Verizon store near Walmart. We're at Paint Party Plus, and I've got Allison Phillips here and... Allison, I'm so glad and so thankful to have you here on the podcast. Thanks for being willing to open up your shop for us and letting us record. I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today. Yeah. Truly. And the, the official title, and it's, it's a long one, it's Paint Party Plus by Elements 5 Arts and Wellness. Yes. Is that correct? I nailed it? Yes, it is. I know like it's, it's a little bit try. cumbersome <laughs> at times, but... But it, it really tells the story. And if you walk in here, everybody, I highly recommend coming into the shop here. It, it is the perfect explanation for what takes place here. There, there's a little bit of art. There, there's a little bit of, you know, culture as well. It's just a really unique store. Can you kind of tell us about what led you to, to want to open up shop here on the north side of Lebanon? Well, it's definitely kind of a long story, but <laughs> um, I'll start out. I have 25 years as a public educator under my belt, and I decided at that point I was ready to retire. I was a music teacher, a taught band in general music at all levels from elementary school to high school. Absolutely loved working with the kids, watching them grow, teaching music. Um, I've also been an artist. My mother is an artist. And she graduated from Heron School of Art with a BFA, Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, in her 40s. So she inspired me, you know. It's so wonderful, you know, as a senior in high school to see my mother graduate from college and be the valedictorian of her class. It was fantastic. (laughs) But so I've always been around artistic people. I've always been an artist myself. And uh, for the second part of, you know, my life and a second career, I really wanted to highlight that and specifically the power that the arts have to help our wellness and, and, and health. And I'm guessing this is a, I know the answer to this question, but seeing mom do what she did in, in the, the next stage of, of life that how kind of helped you and motivated you to yeah. open up these doors and be sitting where we're sitting right here? Absolutely. You know, she taught me that it's never too late to follow your dream. Mm. And that was a gift she gave me. Wait, so. what, a, what a wonderful motto and, and what led you to, to open up the, the shop. How's the response been so far uh, to being here on it's, the north side? It's been incredible. It's been positive. I've had several uh, business owners in Lebanon reach out to me and want to do events. And um, I've also had a lot of inquiries for private events that we do and people that have come out for our weekly classes. It has just been fun. You know, it's it's kind of surpassed my expectation for the timeline we've only been open for seven weeks now total so it's been great and, and so if, if you're listening to this episode everybody and you're like i had no idea or or i can't believe this this type of shop is opening up in lebanon you're not alone it's the <laughs> seven weeks in and so we're, we're still kind of getting the word out and, and excited that you're here and and truth be told everybody was walking out of beat ups with my kiddo after some wings and it was wait a minute <laughs> This shop is so cool. I, I had it to find out more. And so, Allison, you're you know, so kind to let us come in and be so accessible. If you can, kind of talk about the, the services that are offered here. You mentioned some of the, 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 the painting offerings and, and being able to work with our seniors, being able to provide some programming there, and, and also a chance just to walk in and, and have some therapeutic painting and, and other things as well. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, we do some recreational things, uh, weekly classes. So usually Fridays and Saturday evenings, you can come in and sign up online. 
and register for a class and we have the painting that we're going to be doing so you can take a look at that and uh, decide and come on in and it's it's just been great I have so much fun teaching those classes so that's one thing we do another thing we do are private events like birthday parties uh, for corporate we can do team building uh, we just did one for great clips a few mm -hmm. days back and they had their whole staff in and um, you want to talk about a staff meeting where they actually want to be go? there <laughs> I mean they were so yeah. excited you know they they were it, they, it was after work everybody was just chilling out uh, having their pizza just a great time mm -hmm. you know and so they they got to go through their staff meeting points and then we painted and they, they had a wonderful time with that, so we do that. I also offer wellness events, a broad spectrum of things. Um, I am a Remo Health Rhythms facilitator, so that is a recreational music program that was developed by Dr. Barry Bittman. He's a neurologist, okay. and it, he did a lot of research on that program, and it has a very high impact on health. And wellness. He used it with nursing students, and the dropout rate of those nursing students was significantly lower uh, because they participated in the program. That's a great program. It's free for the community, oh, wow. so if, if people want to come out and participate in that, just watch my website for um, the day and time that we're going to be having that Remo Health Rhythms, but that's a wonderful program. I also do intuitive painting workshops with guided visualization activities. It's kind of a form of meditation, okay. but guided visualization, I just verbally walk you through that, and it's all about getting our nervous systems calmer because the way we live is so high high paced it's go 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 it's caffeinated it's you know, right you take a and and one thing the number one thing people can do to to make their wellness better is just to do things that calm your nervous system and there's all kinds of modalities you can do yoga you can do meditation you can do anything that's calming tai chi like painting yeah, <laughs> that'll yeah. calm your nervous system but you know being intentional about it and realizing that we're in that fight flight response a lot of the time now and so that really those types of activities really help to calm that nervous system and get a get our respiration rate down and there is a health benefit to doing that in this health rhythms protocol dr. Bittman found that to be true he did blood work he did uh, you know, vital readings on participants before and after, and there was a statistical uh, improvement. And, you know, we can go over and over the research and everything, but, you know, just in general, it has a high impact on, on wellness and well-being, so. And that's what I'm looking at now, that, that portion of your your space here. You know, one half is, is kind of the, the, the painting side of things, and then the other is, right. is the, the health rhythms and, and that kind of section. You want to be able to offer that as well and have that on hand for people to be able to take right. advantage of? Absolutely. And that, like I said, that's something that I'm just offering to the community for free. So, you know, if you're a teacher, if you're a healthcare worker and you want to get a group together and have me lead you through that protocol, it's a 10 step protocol developed by Dr. Barry Bittman. I would be honored to do that for your group. Six weeks is the maximum benefit. So one hour per week for six weeks in his research he found. Gotcha. And everybody, the, the information that Allison is talking about, I'll put with the body of this podcast, whether you listen to it on iTunes or, or elsewhere, you, uh, YouTube and things like that. I'll put that all there so you can see and, and click, get more information, get contacted with Allison and be able to, to find out more. Everybody, we're talking with Allison Phillips. She's with Paint Party Plus by Elements 5 Arts and Wellness here on the north side of Lebanon, 2462 North Lebanon Street. And if we can get back to the like the, the corporate kind of icebreaker, the, the, the meetings and, and all those right. things, the, the chance to, to kind of let your hair down a little bit. Yes. What kind of reactions do you see from people that are in, in here and take advantage of, of something like that, the team building, and just, just kind of kind of see that anxiety maybe of life kind of wash away from them? What kind oh, of calming spirit do you feel? You really, if you're observing, um, you can see you can see the change from the time they walk in the door from when they leave. It's incredible. People are happy, they're laughing, they're interacting with one another in a positive way. Uh, they're sharing, they're appreciating each other. It really is a way to connect with other people that words can't provide. It's just wonderful to watch. 
And do you feel like, and do you, have you ever experienced anybody that has kind of the stereotypical, I, I suck at art. I, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm not an artist. Yeah. I got stick figures. That's about where we're at. That type of thing. Do you, do you see that kind of stigma and, and do you oh, kind of yeah. relish the opportunity to break it down? That type of thing. Absolutely. You know, I hold the belief personally that arts are for everyone and wellness through the arts is a real thing. It, it doesn't matter the modality of art, but just the arts in general can provide that platform where we can really work on our well-being, get in touch with ourselves again. You know, the world moves so fast. We're so busy with our jobs and our families and, and our to-do lists that we lose touch with ourself. Mm. And just pausing for a moment, focusing on that painting, you know, going inward, relaxing. I hear just amazing things from people. We did an intuitive painting workshop a few weeks back and some of the things that people discovered just going through that process, you know, it's unscripted. You don't have to be an artist. I think in our society in general, we're taught that art has to be gallery worthy, mm -hmm. but I've had teachers that have told me not every painting's going to be a winner and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have paintings that I've put 13 layers on and even then they're not maybe worthy of being in a gallery or it's not about the product it's about the process of the creating that's, that's the important thing that that's so insightful and exactly like like you're thinking i mean just the, the overall perception of art is that it, if i do it it has to be phenomenal right and, and all art has to be amazing and it has to look wonderful to everyone before we hit record everybody kind of talking to allison about what i do with uh, community development in our city and kind of injecting more artistic expression within our community is something I've been pushing because it's important from, from no matter what medium, no matter what skill level, it, it, it's something for everybody. Like you mentioned, everybody has that kind of, it, it benefits everyone. Well, absolutely. I mean, just because of the fact we're human, we're creative, we're creative beings. We create daily. You know, what is it we want to create? Well, we can create anything we choose to, Yeah. you know? And, and having that, that power to be able to, to do that. It opens us up. Yeah. It, it opens up that critical thinking aspect. And a lot of us, as we get older, we lose that play aspect. And we can get that back as an adult. So that whimsical side, that, that yeah. whimsy that's, uh, oh, that's a, you know, a blue Think, duck. And th yeah. thinking outside of the box and being playful and then transferring that to everyday life. <laughs> yeah. You know, that sounds a little scary at first, <laughs> but, but no, seriously, it, it makes a big difference. And even journaling with art can be helpful. Taking that time out of every day, you know, 15 minutes and thinking of what we're grateful for gratitude journaling that's a practice I've started mm. recently and just sketching you know just what I see and it, whatever you feel comfortable with it can be pencils markers it doesn't have to be full-blown paint but just a little sketchbook and it doesn't have to be good it doesn't have to be great and a lot of people like to journal you know write mm -hmm. writing is another you know artistic modality you could use uh, but if you're not a writer or you know you want to keep your thoughts a little more private you can sketch, you know, mm -hmm. and everyone's going to interpret that picture differently, but it's for you. It's for nobody else it, spending that time. And is that a, a tip that you'd have for somebody who maybe is listening to this podcast and maybe wanting to be a bit more artistic or looking for a way to kind of decompress without the use of some substance to bring them down after the coffee? Yeah. Spat them up during the day. Exactly. Is that something that you recommend just starting something small like that, being sure. able to draw and journal and, and do that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even if you're starting out with a very, I actually have taken paint kits here. You know, if, if you're intimidated by painting, come and get one of my kits. It comes with an instructional video. <laughs> How to paint. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, I walk yeah. you through it. Yeah. Yeah. I walk I you through it step by step. A lot of the canvas is pre-stenciled, so you don't have to worry if you can't draw. You know, even I pre-stencil some of my things. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we have technology for a reason. And a lot of artists are using that assistive technology to help them create their art. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah for sure. How much joy does it bring you as someone that, that often does instruction to see someone benefit in that way, to be able to have that 
whether it be de decompression or finding that rhythm within themselves to be able to kind of create a better quality of life for them. Oh my gosh. I, I cannot put a price tag on that. That's why I do what I do is to see that. And I get the most joy when someone comes in here on a Friday night, I walk them through a painting and they're smiling and they say to me, this is something I need to do more. Hmm. Because that tells me, yes, you know, they've received that benefit for themselves. And that's what we want. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody, we're talking with Allison Phillips. Highly recommend checking out her shop here on the north side of Lebanon. And if someone is, is kind of maybe a little bit apprehensive or they're, they're coming out from wings and they want to just kind of look in the window, what, what would you tell them to kind of get the ball rolling as far as learning more about this if they are a bit uh, worried about their own artistic ability or letting their guard down a little bit to be able to do this type of expression. Uh, what would you tell them to kind of break that ice, to, to jump on in, to try things out? Well, I, I would encourage anybody that's interested just to step into the studio, check it out a bit, talk with me. Uh, you know, fear is one of those things that holds us back from reaching our potential. I could tell story after story, my personal story of how I struggled with that for a long time. But yeah, come and talk with me on Thursday nights. We have open studio where you can come in from 5 to 9 p.m. So you just come in, just yeah. kind of chill out. And, and I know. usually have uh, some type of painting or activity. We're going to have paper mache Easter eggs that you can bring the kids and paint. They're amazing. They're twice as large as the plastic ones you get at Walmart. I mean, they're just huge. And you can take them apart and stuff them with all kinds of goodies for egg hunts or whatever. But, you know, that's a real non-intimidating thing. It's something everyone's familiar with. So, you know, if they're apprehensive, mm -hmm. you know, that might be something they want to come and try and just enjoy the studio space and listen to some music and bring their family and make a memory that that's one of those things yeah, that, make, that I enjoy. make a memory exactly yeah and the, the the eggs you're talking about and the what we're looking at the the canvases beside us are, are things you can take home and remember when we did that and and kind of had the warm and fuzzies kind of that way right yeah absolutely everybody if you go on to the world wide web and you check out the facebook page all you have to do is start to, to type in paint party and then there's a plus sign and by elements five arts and wellness so many great pictures there of the the growth process what you guys have done to the interior of, of the building here of your location and how you've created the studio space it's so welcoming and so inviting here other tips for for folks to to you know, kind of get involved or, or to learn more about what, you, what you've got to offer? Uh, if they're interested in learning more, they can go to our website, elements5life.com, and our weekly classes are listed, and uh, you can see what the upcoming offerings are, or you can contact us and uh, talk to me personally if, if there's something specific that you're interested in. Yeah. A dumb question. Are you hopeful that more artistic expression takes place within Lebanon, not just your location, but maybe it grows like a forest fire throughout? Oh, I would love that because, again, I hold the belief that arts are for everyone and the power of the arts to heal, heal us and for mental wellness. You know, they're just so important. They really are. It, it's a they're a great tool. Any of the arts are tools in our toolbox that we have if we choose to use them. And just kind of unlocking that and finding opportunities to, to offer the key. And that's what's, what you're exactly. doing here. And yeah. just like anything else, the more you practice, the better you get. <laughs> so if you are a, a stick figure specialist like myself, oh, you're I, getting better with, with practice. Right? I am too, honestly. <laughs> I, I am too. But, you know, just letting go of that fear and don't worry about what the product's going to be at the end. Enjoy the process. Yeah. Enjoy the journey. That's the best thing about life to begin with. So... You learn a lot. Wise words, and, and can't thank you enough for letting us be here for the podcast, but also for opening up shop, for choosing Lebanon to, to do that, and, and wish you the best of luck and, and everything. I appreciate that. Well, it's my home now, too, has been for seven years now, so I feel like I'm home. Yeah, and we're glad to have you here at home. That's kind of the tagline for Lebanon is this is home, and so yeah. we're glad that you chose to, to make this place your home. Everybody, we appreciate you listening to this episode of the Love and Lebanon podcast. More episodes are coming your way. Take care, everybody.